I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question from the test paper on application of factoring. Area of a rectangle is given by the expression 2x square minus 4x plus 2. Find the possible values of x if length of the rectangle is twice the width. So you can pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestion. What we are given here is that area of rectangle is given by the expression. So we have area equals to 2x square minus 4x plus 2. Find possible values of x if length of the rectangle is twice width. So we know length is equals to twice width. This is what we know. Now how do we find x? Well, one way is let us factor. Once we factor, we know what to multiply by what, right? So 2 is a common factor here. So 2 times x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1. So that is how you can actually factor it. Now we say length is twice width. So we can take that this as the width. So we can say that let width equals to 2, right? So let this be width for us. In that case, that is going to be length, right? So it is width times length. Is it okay? Width times length. So when we take w as 2, in that case, length will be all this, right? But we also know that all this should be 2 times width. So if width is 2, then we know length is 2 times 2, which is 4. That means x square minus 2x plus 1 equals to 4. You get the idea, right? Well, now we can bring 4 to this side. We have x square minus 2x plus 1 minus 4 equals to 0. x square minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. And you can factor. You are looking for product of minus 3 sum of minus 2. So you get x minus. So that is bigger number is negative. So x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. And that gives you two solutions. That is x is equals to either 3 plus or minus 1. So these are the two solutions for the given situation. So in this case, what you treat it as, you treat it 2 as width and L length as the other factor, correct? But you know, it could be the other way also. So that is very interesting to understand. So at times, you could think like this. You could think uh, the same expression, which is area equals to 2 times x square minus 2x plus 1, you can think that uh, in such a case, length is 2. Let us say length is 2. In that case, width will be half, right? So width will be half of length, right? So width will be 1. So if I am treating this as width and this as length, in that case, what do I get? So let me try this out also. So in that case, we get x square minus 2x plus 1 equals to 1 and solving we get x square minus 2x equals to 0 right 1 minus 1 and that can be factored we can get x equals to x is a common factor x minus 2 equals to 0 so in this case we have two solutions x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 2 do you see that so all these are possible solutions do you get the idea so this is really a thinking question it opens up, you know, different scenarios. And when you look into such questions, you should look into both the possibilities, right? So we say possible solutions are for x equals to, uh, from here we get minus 1 and 3, and from here we get 0 and 2. Well, all four are the possible values of x, which can help you find that this particular rectangle uh, could be 1, where one dimension is twice the other, right? So, so that is how you could actually solve such a question. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best. I'm, I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.